Hi, my name is Cindy Rang with the Fabric Patch in Ephrata, Washington. You can find us at fabricpatch.net and we are just going to do a super fast little tutorial just to show you about the little prayer quilts that we've been talking about. Prayer quilts are pretty popular and they've been around for a while. I'm not sure who first came up with the idea of it, but what it is is it's a tiny little quilt that you carry around in your pocket. Um, you carry it around in your pocket and there is actually a little cross that's in there and there's a little sentiment when you give it to somebody and what ours says is um, this pocket prayer quilt was made especially for you to slip into your pocket throughout the day when your fingers touch the cross inside the quilt be mindful of God's love and grace for you God bless you and give you peace lots of versions of pocket quilts lots of people have different things there might be a poem or there might be an attached verse you can do all sorts of things there is no right or wrong way to do it this is just what we do so i'm just going to show you really quick you'll start with just a small amount of fabric and really it doesn't matter what your little mini quilt looks like i tend to like four patches because they go together fairly quickly but you can really do anything that you'd like you can make it as intricate or as simple as you'd like what's really nice about a four patch is you can just start with a couple of inch and a half strips sew them together do a little bit of chain piecing and you have this really simple little four patch i tend to end up with about a two and a half inch square so that by the time I sew the whole thing together, I end up with a two inch pocket quilt. Again, the size really doesn't matter. When you make it into a quilt, sometimes people will go ahead and have raw edge and they might pink the corners. I tend to like something that really does look more like a quilt, but you don't really want to use batting because it gets a little bit too thick to be able to turn it around and you really do want to be able to feel what's inside of there. So what I would do is I just layer these together, sew around leaving a little opening, turn it right side out. The purple thing comes in super handy with that because then you can get into those corners and really press those corners out. And then you have a little edge that's open. Now with this little edge, you can hand stitch it if you'd like to, or what I do is I'll just take my little um, cross, tuck it inside there, and then if you top stitch all the way around, you're just finishing the quilt and you've, you've gathered that open end that was open. Everybody asks where we get the hearts, I mean the, the crosses. You can get them just about anywhere. Uh, Walmart typically has them pretty inexpensively. Sometimes you can find them at the Dollar General. You can also order them online. Um, different bead stores will have them. I've also seen a variation where they have the cross on the outside with just a little tie um, and that's cute also so whatever you think works best for you um, and again this is the sentiment that we tend to put with ours and we do have a sheet this is available um, just below there's a little link for um, a free little download and you can print these off we print it on cardstock but you can do whatever you'd like and when we give it to somebody we just pin them together but if you have access to little bags and again you can even get these at Walmart you can tuck everything together so that they get your little gift so whether the pocket quilt is for you or something that you're making to give away I hope you found this really helpful probably your biggest challenge is going to be finding all those little crosses because I think a lot of people are making these so what I would suggest is maybe put in the comments if you, there's some sort of a link to somebody that you know if there's some of their small town business or um, home business that has access to more of these little crosses because I think I've bought up all the ones in my hometown Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.